Hi guys, Mike here with Sasquatch Mom Tactical. I wanted to do a quick video tonight and uh, go over some of our different holster models, explain some of the features on those models, what those features offer, and the differences between the, the uh, models. We'll get started with our little foot, which is our standard inside the waistband holster for non-light light mounted pistols. This is going to be uh, one of our slimmest and smallest designs. Uh, you can carry this appendix, uh, strong side. These are also completely ambidextrous, as you can see, uh, it's symmetrical cut. All you got to do is flip the hardware to the other side, uh, which makes it nice and easy. Um, if, you, if you do decide to carry, say maybe you carry two pistols, um, or if you're, if you're left-handed or right-handed, the same holster is going to work the same way on either side. That's one of the uh, biggest features to this holster, is the ambidextrous design. Uh, the other, one of the other features that all of our holsters uh, without lights offer is going to be this retention dimple right here, if you can see that. So that's going to give you a nice firm positive retention. You can hear that, that click. That offers nice firm retention without being too strong. Once you break that retention, the holster or, uh, the firearm comes out of the holster nice and cleanly for a nice clean draw stroke. All of our uh, holsters, all of our inside the waistband holsters also come standard with the uh, polymer strut and the pull the dot loop. I'm a big fan of these, they're not really secure. I think they stay on a lot better than the uh, overhook designs. Although there are some people that do like the overhooks, which is fine. We, we do offer those as well, but standard they come with the pull the dot loop and the polymer strut. So moving on to our Pegasus holster. This is a little bit older one. This is this is my personal. All these are my personal holsters, uh, but this one is one of the one of the earlier ones that I did. You can see it's in Cryptek Mandrake. Uh, this holster I've been carrying for uh, six or eight months now, maybe a little bit longer. And as you can see, I did, I did pull the uh, the strut off of here to use it on something else because I no longer carry this holster. But as you can see, um, six or eight months of, of of daily carry and very little signs of wear. Uh, this, this printed Kydex holds up really well. But anyways, so the Pegasus is named, uh, named so because of the wing right here. And that's probably what I get the most questions on. So the, what the wing does is when the firearm is in the gun, <laughs> when the, the firearm is in the holster, this wing puts pressure on the back of your belt and it rotates the uh, butt of the grip right here, this area, rotates it in towards your body like that. And that's going to minimize printing um, on, a, on a Glock 19 or even on a Glock 17. I can pretty comfortably carry a Glock 17 in a holster just like this without any problems. Very minimal printing. On a Glock 19, it's even less, obviously, because the, the grip is shorter. So that's going to be that's our older style Pegasus. This is a little bit modified version of our newer Pegasus. I don't have the standard one on hand because... All the stuff uh, goes out pretty quickly but this one is uh, the only difference is going to be this one's got the pull the dot loops mounted directly to the front of the holster rather than having the polymer strut like this one all the Pegasus is I don't know if that's a word or if that's the plural form for Pegasus but anyways they all come with the the polymer strut and loop so this one you can see it's got the detachable wing so if you wanted to carry it um, oh, again, also, these are designed for appendix carry, specifically for appendix carry. If you wanted to carry it strong side, say at 3 or 4 o'clock, you could remove the wing, take the screws off, remove the wing, and then carry it at 3 or 4 o'clock, no problem. This one, again, get that nice, solid retention, nice and firm, but the gun comes loose just fine, comes clean, nice, clean draw. I'm a big fan of firm retention. This holster right here is in Cryptek Altitude with Toxic Green Rivets. Pretty cool color combination. I really like this one. So then we'll move on to the Mandalorian. Get these out of the way. So these two holsters right here, these are going to be, uh, this is probably one of our more popular designs. Between this and the Pegasus, those are our two most popular selling holsters. So the Mandalorian is going to be our appendix carry holster for pistols with a light mounted to them. So these two you can see, uh, this is for a Glock 
with the Inforce APL. This is for a Glock with the Surefire X300 Ultra. Again, both these holsters, nice firm retention. Look at that nice firm click. Uh, that gun's not going anywhere in there. Again, this one's got the wing to uh, tuck the grip into your body for better concealment. Now with these ones also, you could take the wing off if you wanted to carry it strong side at 3 or 4 o'clock. You could do so just fine uh, by taking the wing off. These are not ambidextrous like the little foot. Um, the regular Pegasus with the uh, removable wing can be made ambidextrous. I would have to make a left-handed wing if that's what you wanted. Um, but we can do them for either right or left-handed. So uh, you can see this is cut a little bit lower. This is a asymmetrical cut. Cut a little bit lower in the front. I think it looks nice. Still gives you plenty of coverage when your belt comes across here. None of the firearm is exposed below your belt, with the exception of the muzzle. If you carry a, this is a 17, this is a 19, obviously. So one of the other features on this holster is the, any of these will fit a 19, a 17, it'll fit a 34, it'll fit a 17L if you want. I don't know many people that carry, that appendix carry a, a 34 or a 17L. Uh, but another feature would be, uh, say you've got a Glock 19 like this one with a threaded barrel. That's going to stick out a little bit, but it gives you the clearance. It's not a problem uh, with a threaded barrel on any of these, even if you had a, set, a 17 with a threaded barrel. So that's going to be our Mandalorian holster. Get those out of the way. I'll go over our, our Yeti holster. So the Yeti is our standard light bearing holster for outside the waistband. As you can see, this one is uh, also for a Glock with the Surefire X300 Ultra. This one is, and all of our light bearing Glock holsters are going to be molded off of a 34 frame or a 34 slide. So you can see that's a, uh, that's going to be a little bit longer than a 17 or a 19. However, any Glock 9mm or 40 caliber frame is going to fit this same holster. Even if you had a 17 with a threaded barrel, it's going to still fit inside this holster. So the reason we do that is, one, to give the end customer, you guys, the greatest possible options. That way one holster will fit your 19, it'll fit your 17, it'll fit your 34 if that's what you, you have or that's what you want to run uh, in one holster rather than having a holster for your 19, a separate holster for your 19. Save you guys a little bit of money, give you some ammo money to train with. So again, you can see nice, nice firm retention. That gun's not going anywhere once it clicks in there. So that's our Yeti standard light bearing holster. You can see we use polymer uh, belt loops. Uh, we, this, is, this is going to be a pancake style rather than the fold over. So anyways, if you guys have more questions on uh, any of our other models, questions about anything, feel free to uh, shoot me an email. SasquatchMountainTac at gmail.com. Oh, I forgot to cover our uh, PMAG carrier. I'll go over that real quick. This is a new one for us. This is going to be our ambidextrous PMAG carrier. Uh, again, like I talked about retention, um, clicks in there nice and firm, it's not going to fall out. It does have adjustable retention, so you can tighten that down a little bit. It will also fit, as you can see, this channel. It'll fit Gen 4 PMAGs with the uh, over insertion tab. It's also ambidextrous, so you can flip the clip to either side. So you can run it on, on your right or left hand side, or bullets forwards or bullets backwards. So you can run it in any of those... Uh, any of those, uh, I'm drawing a blank here. Anyways, so thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, guys.